There were things that Alexa was bringing up in our initial meeting, like, do you want white paper, ivory, cream, off-white? I'm like, the list goes on, right? What the heck? <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin, and this is Erin On Demand, a place for entrepreneurs and content creators looking to build your brand, business, and impact. And today, you guys, we have a special guest. We gotta be on our best behavior, y'all. This is Alexa, Alexa hey. Settles, and she is basically my project manager for this entire notebook production. Mm -hmm. So um, I wanted to bring her on the channel just to explain one, how we're working together and two, what the production process is for getting your ideas brought to life. Um, and, and that was like my biggest reason for needing to have Alexa was because I just literally didn't know where to start. Like I knew I wanted to do something, but I didn't know where to start. So, can you just do a brief intro and then we'll get into the video. Okay. Well, hi everybody. I'm so excited to be on Erin's channel. Like she just said, I'm Alexa Settles. I am uh, the project manager for her top three notebook. Um, but aside from that, I actually have my own planner business. It's called Glamorous Planning. With Glamorous Planning, I design day planners, um, journals, and desk accessories all created for women who want to organize their life. I started that a few years ago in 2017, and the goal was to just really create products that um, resonated with women like myself, working women, women in different aspects of their life. So I'm really excited to walk you guys through the process of how Erin and I met and connected and how we are working on her dream product, the yeah. Top 3 Notebook. So I can't wait to dive in. I know, so I think we connected on social media yeah. mm -hmm. um and my sister had known you before i met you yeah i think we were following each other yeah and then we were following each other and i knew that like i couldn't do this project by myself i just had no idea where to start and so i saw alexa's planners and they looked great i looked at her instagram i literally stalked everything she did and i was like okay i think i should reach out to her and see if she would be willing to just meet with me to talk about whatever insight she has on creating her planner because mm -hmm. i knew that you had like done a custom planner mm -hmm. so yeah. we met at a coffee shop yep. and i told her you know about what what the scope of the project was and then she had given me so much great advice the next day i was just like do you just want to like spearhead this for me and i can just pay you to just do that <laughs> and i had never done that before you know yeah. you were like the first person that actually came to me and said hey i have a project i want to create a notebook and before I was just doing my own planners and it never even crossed my mind to help other entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs to create their own product and bring it to life because it is a process. And um, having someone that has already been through it, that's already bumped their head several times because it is a journey. Um, having someone to help facilitate that is just, it's a weight off your shoulders. I mean, it really yeah. is. We're going to explain um, how we're working together and then how the production process works. Okay, so when it comes to creating a paper product um, and actually wanting to bring it from idea to real life, there's a lot of steps that go into it. So the first step when creating a paper product is to really define what you're going to create. So whether that's a planner or if it's a notebook or it's a journal or it's a to-do list paper, had, you really want to define what the product is and you know how is it going to serve your audience and all of those things that go into the product that's really important step two would be to create a comprehensive work plan like how are you going to bring this to life when you're working with a project manager um, so in that process we're establishing at what point are we reaching out to the manufacturer we're we working with the graphic designer so we want to lay out all of those steps in the plan so that when you're actually executing it you know you have an outline of how everything is going to work yeah exactly and that kind of stuff helped me too with just getting a better sense of like how long this is going to take what i need to do mm -hmm. and like how i need to be because i mean alexa she does a lot but she can't do everything like it's still my product so i have to make sure like i'm you know on top of things too mm -hmm. and she always pings me like hey did you get the invoice <laughs> hey did you get the this hey did you and i'm like oh thank god yeah. because like it really does help to have you know structure and order when you're doing such a big project mm -hmm. step three is confirming the project design and that's when i work really closely with the graphic designer we were able to really 
fine tune all of the details. And because I'm able to speak with a manufacturer and I have experience with that, I know some of the questions they're already gonna ask. So with me, I'm able to already go in with the graphic designer and with Aaron, and we're able to have a meeting and sit down and kind of iron out all of the things that they're expecting yeah. from a design standpoint. And those are all of the technicalities. I make sure that I know all of that and I go over that with Aaron. So we review all of the technicalities that go into creating the product and making sure that the manufacturer has everything that they need. So some of those things are making sure the dimensions are correct and the colors and the paper and the spiral or whatever product that you're creating. We, you really want to outline everything that you want it to be. You know, yeah. it's better to go in overdoing everything as opposed to underdoing it. Yeah. So you can kind of establish what you want to create yeah. and then you meet the manufacturer where yeah. they are. Because even for me, like there were things that Alexa was bringing up in our initial meeting. Like, do you want white paper, ivory, cream, off-white? I'm like, right. the list goes on, right? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, you know, these are things that the manufacturer needs to know, like the weight of the paper mm -hmm. and the, you know, and, yeah. and we'll have a whole another video on, you know, communicating and things with the manufacturer and how to find a good manufacturer. Yeah. But these are just some of the details that I was very thankful to have you for because I wouldn't have even thought of half of those things. Another thing that you mentioned to me when we were going kind of through the design was well, before I got you mm -hmm. and we were talking at the coffee shop, you yeah. were like, go to Target mm -hmm. or go to Office Max or whatever and like look at the notebooks. Like mm -hmm. look at how thick the cover is. Do you want spiral bound? Do you want no spiral? Do you want thick paper yeah. or thin paper or white good. line? I mean, gray lines or pink lines yeah, or blue lines. Don't even think of. Yeah, like you don't think of those things. So I agree. Yes. Overdo it. <laughs> yes, overdo it. Um, and just to add on to that point when you're going into the stores, it kind of level sets your expectations of what you want your product to look like. And I mean, it's your dream product. So, you know, if you want a, a metallic spiral and you want gold foil, like your wildest dreams, put it in that product. Um, because when I come in, I'm going to let you know, like, this is what the manufacturer can, can do for you. Um, and yes, they can create that. And it really kind of level sets and sets that expectation of the manufacturer. And they have an outline, you know, it's your product at the end of the day. So they want all of the direction so that they are creating exactly what you want. Everyone wants to be satisfied and that's the goal. Yeah. So step four and creating the top three notebook was to reach out to the manufacturer. And in that we explained to them what the project was going to be, reviewed that, let them know what we were creating, sending over the files to them so that they knew exactly all of the details, make sure that this is something that the manufacturer is capable of doing. Um, that's important also. And we went over quantity. How many notebooks do you want to create? You know, that's important as well because when working with manufacturers, especially overseas, there is a minimum quantity order, mm -hmm. which a lot of people don't realize. You know, sometimes it's 500, sometimes it's 1,000. It really varies, but typically with overseas manufacturers, it's a typically 1,000 units. So you also want to make sure, is, am I able to sell a thousand notebooks, planners, yeah. anything, you know, it is a lot. It is. It is a lot. So I'm just making sure that you have that expectation of what they're looking for as well. Um, and then we're also reviewing our, the budget. We were negotiate on pricing. All of that goes into it. Mm -hmm. um, making sure that with all of the details that you have, we're capturing everything within the budget mm -hmm. and not exceeding or, you know, bending it if need be, you know, because yeah. you have things that you want. Yeah. And that's everything that goes into, you know, reaching out to the manufacturer. So step five is a big one. Like this is, yeah. this is a big one. It's, it's really a really exciting time because this is when you are going to order your sample. It's really an exciting time for you to um, expect your product to come to life. So in step five, the manufacturer is going to take all of those files from the computer and they're going to create it into a live product. So all of that picking out a paper, the pages, the color of the pages, you know, the lines, the number of pages you want, yeah. and all of the details are going to come, come together, together into your dream product. I never skip this step. It's always important to get a sample um, before ordering a large quantity, say of 500 or a thousand units. You want to know what the, the quality is. You want to mm -hmm. make sure that the manufacturer can create exactly what they said that they were going to be be able to create and sometimes when you're designing with your graphic designer and working with your project manager you know you think you want something and then when it gets 
and when it comes to life, yeah, like, you're like, mm, mm. maybe that's not what I wanted. Maybe yeah. I want a black spiral. Maybe I want, yeah. you know, cream pages or ivory pages as opposed to white pages. And and you'll see that when you get the sample. Mm -hmm. You'll see that. And you'll see that through my process. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot yeah. of tweaking that goes on behind the scenes after you receive your sample. But yeah. I would say never skip this step. Yeah. And even, like, it's very exciting. Like, when I got my sample, I was just like, <gasps> like... It's yeah. here. It's that moment. Yeah. yeah it's it's like moment. very exciting to actually be able to like hold it after it's been an idea for so long. Mm -hmm. So that's very exciting. Although we did make some changes to the design or the notebook and yeah. the design a little bit. But yeah. yeah. So <laughs> get your samples. Yeah. And that's for anything. Like not even just like notebooks or things that you're ordering from manufacturers. But like if you have a t-shirt company or a clothing line or whatever, like get samples yeah, like before samples. you sell it <laughs> yeah. yeah you want to make sure that it's yeah. you know to, up the, to quality. Up to the yeah. quality that you want to put out you know that's really important so the sixth step is when we receive that sample and we review it with the graphic designer Aaron and myself and we go through it and we edit everything we really just pull it apart honestly yeah. I mean I would say pull it apart inspect it make sure that every single page is to the, your standard mm -hmm. that there's no errors we want to re leave room for no errors um so in that we're making sure that you know the pages are the weight that you want making sure that the spiral is thick and durable and Erin was able to actually use her sample just in her daily life yeah like and it gave me actually a good perspective on changes that I wanted to make in the second sample but we will get into the details later okay in the series yeah. but um yeah, you like I like to use the sample to see like is this line long enough or thick or wide mm -hmm. enough? Like is yeah. it, you know? Yeah. So that also is a good reason to have it. Yeah, absolutely. So you we're editing it, editing it, we're pulling it apart and making sure that you know, everything that was in those files and that we would communicate it to the manufacturer that it really was brought to life. Mm -hmm. And it's everything. Yeah. <laughs> so the seventh step is really optional. Mm -hmm. It really depends on how step six goes. So yeah. if everything in step six, as far as receiving the sample, it's 100% everything that you dreamt of, everything that you wanted, the quality is up to code, then we would jump to step eight. But step seven is really also just as important as step six because after you've made all of those edits and changes and saw that you know maybe I didn't really like the paper color or the weight or the spiral step seven is to order that second sample so ask as many questions to the manufacturer as you mm -hmm. want you know this is something that you're you know you're investing your time and your money in so mm -hmm. you want to make sure that if you need a second sample go for it and that's something that we did with your process yeah. right you know there was a few things that Erin wanted to tweak with her notebook we just went back to the drawing board and said hey like what are some things that you want to change yeah what are what did you experience when you were actually carrying your notebook around as someone that was actually using it on a daily basis like you know did it was it durable did yeah it, did it hold up like you expected I wanted the sample the second sample just to make sure that that all of the changes that we made in the first one were correct because Alexa was like well we can give them all the changes but like we don't know if like they're gonna execute it exactly mm -hmm. how you want exactly. so we got the second sample and it is gonna cost like the sample is gonna cost but it doesn't cost nearly as much as ordering a thousand that you don't fully love we didn't make like tiny changes to the first one like it was like quite a few changes mm -hmm. yeah. so if it's like something really small then I would say this probably yeah. isn't necessary either. right yeah true and then I've already built relationships with the manufacturer so I trust that if I do request a change that it is going to be made mm -hmm. but if you have a lot a long laundry list of just changes that you want to make I would definitely say create that second sample request it invest in it because like Aaron was saying um, there's nothing like ordering a thousand units of a product and not loving it. Yeah. You know, so that's number seven is important. Don't sit that step either if it's needed. Yeah. So step number eight, also another exciting step. I really, I feel like this was really, this was more recent. This step yeah. that we just hit, we just it's did like this. a milestone almost <laughs> in this process. So you submit your final order. Mm -hmm. Like this this is the big order that you've led up to. You reach out to the manufacturer, you confirm all of your designs, and you say, hey, I'm ready to put in my final order. Yeah. 
so in that um you want to review that right you want to review your purchase order your invoice making sure that it details all of the new changes the old you know requests that were in your first sample and you want to make sure that you go over that in detail i make sure that i review it first and then i send it over to aaron to make sure that she has a copy on file so she knows what's being expected and making sure that i'm communicating everything mm -hmm. correctly then you put your final order in and then, then you wait then you wait <laughs> right so we got really excited and then we wait I but i mean it's still super exciting yeah. you know that it's coming yeah so how long really is the wait yeah, so the wait is typically about 20 business days, and that gives the manufacturer time to create all of your units. They're going to go through a, a quality test and making sure that if there were any you know, notebooks that were not up to the quality of your standards and the manufacturer standards, that if they have to do any reprints, they can do that. So it takes about 20 business days. So I would say roughly about a month. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, not too bad. A month of production or a month of this it's is just be at the, my doorstep. No, this is just okay. production. So <laughs> then there's some more waiting time. But this is just production, and then we get to that another exciting milestone where you actually can get some of those final notebooks sent over to you. So yeah, we'll get into that next. So step nine is to confirm shipping with the manufacturer and where it's going to be shipped to. Mm -hmm. So in this step, we are going to make sure that the final destination is confirmed and majority of your product, I would say 90% of your notebooks are going to be shipped over via ocean freight. So they're going to get on this huge ship. They're going to be on these pallets packaged all up and the manufacturer does all of this. So I'm communicating with them, making sure that it gets on the boat. And then I'm going to get like a, a notification of, you know, where it's being shipped from and then how long it's going to take to get over to the United States. So mm -hmm. I would recommend shipping over 90% of your product ocean freight. One, because it's cheaper. And two, because it gives you time to receive some of the like other by notebooks plane. by air or, freight. Yeah, yeah, by plane. Yeah. So 10% of your notebooks, I would recommend flying over. And mm -hmm. that takes about three to five business days really, really fast. So yeah. these are the final, final notebooks, what they're going to look like, everything, you know, packaged up, all of that. Yes. So why do you recommend doing that? Yeah, I recommend flying over about 10% of your product mm -hmm. um, so that you can prepare for photo shoots, so that you can also do another quality test to make sure that all of those final edits are in there. Yeah. As we're recording this video, we just put in the deposit for the final order. Right. So we ha I haven't received the notebooks, the final notebooks yet. Right. But it's coming. Yes. So, 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 <laughs> so step 10 is receiving the order to your doorstep. I think this is probably the most exciting for so many reasons because you've spent all of this time working on this product. I mean, even behind the scenes, when you're just thinking of the idea and sketching it out, but then you meet with your graphic designer and then you meet with your project manager and then there's this manufacturing process and it's just so much yeah. that when you get to the step and it's to your doorstep, I mean, I think you're for me, like, when oh. I received my first planner, it was really emotional. I yeah. cried. So. It was so, I mean, but it was, you think all of your hard work, yes. all of your time and energy and everything that you know about, you know, your industry all of it comes together and it's like a full circle moment yeah. from there you're you know going through your final order making sure everything is up to code mm -hmm. and you know you're counting your units so you know the number of units that you order you make sure that's all in that and that and then and then you start selling and then you start selling <laughs> right making that money back <laughs> okay from that investment yes <laughs> so there is a bonus step that yeah. we've added yeah. that isn't not required, required, but it's highly recommended. Yeah. Highly recommended. And that is packaging. Like, I'm really big into packaging. Erin is really big into packaging. We are all into the details. Yes. And this step is all about the details. So, you know, when you're when you, when we're creating her notebook, you know, creating like a custom box for it, and you think about tissue paper, you think about all of the branding and the details that go into it and that experience that your customer is going to have yes. when they open up your product. Yes, because, I mean you can go and buy a planner or a notebook or whatever mm -hmm. from anywhere but it's like what made this one special and yeah. like why would someone keep coming back to use it of course the functionality but like just knowing that like okay i did pay a little bit more for this like 
giving them a reason to like ex or something to experience mm -hmm. um in exchange for that is just such a nice touch yeah. and i just always remember when i get things in the mail and how the packaging kind of just yeah. elevates the experience yeah. so you're really excited about it and yes. the unboxing experience yes. is all you know it all comes together yes so mm -hmm. i did want alexa to be in the beginning of this series because it helps us get a full overview of what this process is like. Well, she makes it very easy for me, but it is a pretty long process. Mm -hmm. Like it's a lot of back and forth. Um, and it's just, you know, the details is really where the fine tuning is yeah. really what takes a lot of the time. So um, I wanted her to be on because one, she's great. I tell her all the yeah. time she needs her own YouTube channel because <laughs> she just got it on lock and she was nervous. I'm like, girl, for what? Right. Um, but, you know, and to have a project manager to kind of take that load off of you as an option, if you guys are interested in, you know, developing a product, Alexa kind of specializes more in paper products. So like if you want a, a, you a planner, know, a notebook, a yeah, journal. Yeah, exactly. A planner, a notebook, a journal. Um, she would be a great resource. I'm so glad that I chose Alexa to be my project manager and just asked her, like, would you want to do this? Because now it's something that she's open to, you know, creating, you know, a thing out of, a yeah. business out of, and, you know, adding that as a sector to her business. And so um, she's a great resource, you guys, if you are looking for insight on how to, you um, create a product and have her as a project manager if you are serious about creating a product I would highly highly recommend as the project manager she'll pretty much do everything that we talked about mm -hmm. that she did for me in this video so I mean really my job is to make the process you know stress-free um, and really to just help you bring your idea to life. I thought my head so many times that, you know, now when I'm working with Aaron, you know, I know, you know, what to say, how to respond. You know, I'm able to make the process it's seamless smooth, yeah. and smooth and, you know, I take that load off of her. For her. Yeah. So that's really my job. Exactly. And I will say this, even though you do pay to have a project manager, um, I didn't have to go searching for manufacturers, getting sample orders, which can cost hundreds of dollars to get one thing printed. Like that one unit could cost, yeah. you know, over a hundred dollars. So I'm not spending all this money like searching high and low for a manufacturer. And that was a huge step that I think you took off of my plate. Um, so, you guys, I will highly recommend Alexa. She's going to be popping up in another video in the series. So, um, later down the line, we're yeah. going to talk about finding a manufacturer and just some things that you guys should be on the lookout for if you're developing a product and you need to get it manufactured, which more likely than not so um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video please check out previous videos in the series and we are going to make this a whole series i'm really sharing with you guys the whole experience of bringing this product to life which has been a complete adventure and i'm so excited to share it with you guys so if you like this video thumbs it up Keep in touch with Alexa. I will put all of her contact information, her Instagram, all of the things in the description box. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you, Alexa. Bye. Bye. Bye.